you guys are watching NFL Daily, I am Tom Downey, and it's a mailbag. I have a lot of fun doing these. I love answering your guys' questions on free agency, draft trades, games, you name it. Happy to do it here on NFL Daily. And a super chat to begin, Emil Pedersen. Do you think there will be more games in Europe? I think what the NFL should do is add a bye week, add an extra bye week, make sure these guys are healthy, avoid injuries, makes your product better, by the way, adds an extra week of TV deals, right? It's a huge b uh, boon for the NFL standpoint there. And then you can add more, you know, away games. You can add another European game, Germany, England. You can go play in Mexico, whatever you want to do. That's obviously, this was not Europe, but more international games. I think that makes sense uh, for the entire NFL. Another super chat from Shane Curry. Will the Saints turn around the season? And if so, how will they? I think the Saints, if we're being honest, have really been a pretty big disappointment so far this year. I mean, you think about what they've done, right? You barely lose to the Vikings. You lose to the Panthers. You score 10 points against the Bucks, and you barely beat the Falcons. Folks, they're eight points away because they almost blew, 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 blew that week one game from being in really rough shape and 0-4. Now, the schedule, I think, for New Orleans is manageable here. Seahawks, Bengals, Cardinals, Ra Cardinals Raiders have not looked that good. You got to get hot. You need better quarterback play. I think it's clear you missed Sean Payton. Your defense is still doing a pretty decent job overall. You need to score more points. 14 against the Panthers, 10 against the Bucks. Look, 25 was probably enough. You got to have a more consistent sustained offensive success. Maybe getting back Alvin Kamara will benefit them. From the NFL kid, will the Panthers reverse what happened last year instead of being bad late in the season? We start being good and make the playoffs late in the year. By late in the year, I mean after week five. So, I, yeah, I, I know what you mean there. Um, is there any confidence in that? Like, the offense doesn't look very good. The schedule is not that easy down the stretch here. There's clearly just some... Bad quarterback play, bad play calling. Still, the O-line is bad. Like, you're putting e e e e e Ike on an island against premier pass rushers. It just, like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, e e Iquano needs time. I don't think the scheme's very good. It's one of those things where no one's helping each other. Ground game's not helping enough because the way you, you run it, your coordinator's not helping your quarterback and vice versa. It's pretty messy right now. Just feels like a disjointed team that's going to end up firing their coaching staff soon, which I know is not what you want NFL kid, but I think that's what's going to happen there. From Elon Husk, will the Giants trade Kadarius Toney? I mean, can he stay healthy enough to pass a physical? Like, Tony's in a really weird spot. There were the trade rumors, I'll go rumors, I guess, in the end, about like, ah, oh, the Giants want to trade him, and, you know, do they really want to? It's a first-round pick. He's been injured. They draft Wandale Robinson to play a very similar role as him. It's, it's a weird situation. I'm going to go with no, not this year. But if he makes no impact this year, next year, it's a new regime. Maybe. All right, what I want you guys to do right now, we saw, obviously, uh, Shane's a Saints fan. We saw um, NFL Kids, a Panthers fan. I want to hear from you guys watching on demand right now. Who is your favorite NFL team? Let me know in the comments section. It's the pinned comment on today's video. So go down there, spam your favorite team. From Why Big Jordan, speaking of Panthers fans, does Baker get benched this year or th this week? I think so. <sighs> Here's the problem for Carolina. We also know PJ Walker, isn't it? I would wonder if it's Baker deserves blame here. It's not like Ben McAdoo's a, a, a great play caller. Darnold's not back yet, not that he's any upgrade, so I, I'll go with no, but I could also see it's a blowout in the fourth quarter, and they sit the starters anyway. That could very well be a, 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 an, an option there in the end. XD Gamer, Odell going to the Bills or Ravens? You can choose one. All right, so where does Odell Beckham sign? I, I, I think the Ravens would be such a good fit for him. Like, you've got Rashad Bateman and Devin DuVernay. Like, the Ravens have a more obvious need at wide receiver. And I feel like Lamar and Odell could form a really good duo. I would love to see him in Baltimore. But I also wouldn't rule out teams like the Packers, the Saints, that they end up getting things back on track a little bit, and plenty of others, the Giants even, in the mix. So, it's a good question, XD. I think we'll know more in a month-ish where Odell Beckham will end up going. Now, today's show is made possible by our sportsbook partner. BetUS. If you're trying to make some money, 
betting on games week. I finally will hit one of my parlays. Hit it this past weekend. Felt good. I'm back in, in the black for the first time all year. But I got a ton of leftover money because I used BetUS. They gave me a 125% deposit bonus because I put down 100 bucks at chatsports.com slash bet. And I use promo code NFL daily. Again, 100 bucks down, 125% deposit bonus. Some NFL MVP odds. They've changed every single week. And a big gap here. Allen plus 275. Hertz plus 450. Lamar 500. Mahomes plus 550. Then Justin Herbert way down there plus 1,400. Very clear four front runners right now. I'll tell you what, I kind of like the Jalen Hurts line. If the Eagles keep winning games, exceeding the expectations where they have, it's just prime contender there. A super chat from Mel Garrett, or Merle Garrett. Should the commanders trade Montez Sweat? I don't hate that idea, uh, or trading Deron Payne. I will say this, though. If you trade away a guy like Montez Sweat, who's one of your best pass rushers on your roster, and with the first-round pick you invented in, er, invested in him, you're kind of acknowledging that you're selling. And if you sell this year, even though I, I know Sweat has zero sacks, but he's been productive previously in, in his career. If you sell, does does that mean you're kind of like going to fire Ron Rivera? Like he built this roster. He's heavily involved in trading away players. If you trade Sweat, that makes it tougher to win football games. You might get yourself fired. So I think it's a lot. Like teams should call the commanders about Sweat, Deron Payne, etc., I don't know, though, if they're going to start selling Montez Sweat. From Vince, which contender has the most potential for improvement until playoff time? Browns, Cowboys, Packers, Chiefs, others? I think the two that should really stand out here are the two that don't have their starting quarterbacks available. Jacoby Brissett, Deshaun Watson, Cooper Rush, Dak Prescott. Yeah, Brissett and Rush have fared at least good enough in their absences, but I think we all, if we're being real here, all know that the starting quarterbacks have proven significantly more over their NFL careers. Those two teams stand out to me. I think the Ravens have an untapped level on offense still. Maybe you close some games out a little bit better. They've lost some close ones. If Green Bay can unlock their passing game by adding a receiver, that takes them to a new level. I think the Chiefs and Bills are like pretty close already as it is. Uh, Topeka for life. Who says no? Cooper Rush trade for Carson Wentz. Honestly, the Cowboys do. Like, well, I think it's very clear what we've known for years. Wentz ain't it. The Cowboys are not going to take on a $22 million contract for Carson. It's a terrible idea for them. If the commanders go full sell mode, though, hey, Cooper Rush is the vet men. You save like 12 or 18, whatever it is, million dollars, depending on when you trade Carson Wentz. So I know you're kind of trolling there, but like, Factoring in the contract, Rush is a better asset because he's not a negative asset. So seriously, it, okay, how about, how about we ignore the contract? Who's better, Cooper Rush or Carson Wentz? CR for Cooper Rush or CW for Carson Wentz? Now, we are live on Wednesdays. We're back live again, Red Zone, this week on Sunday. My boy Mitchell Renz has it covered. If you want free videos, Hit that big red button and subscribe at youtube.com slash chat sports TV. Jared TG, expectations for Bailey Zappi. I almost want to let Jack answer this one. Um, game manager, Case Keenum type stuff. Like, like that's like high-end expectations. Like, don't turn the football over. Be very accurate. Run the football. Hit play action. He's very, he's got great touch. The arm strength is lacking. So if the first read's open, there's going to be some success there for Bailey Zappi. Um, wins, you know, being the next Tom Brady is asking for way too much, but show you can be a backup QB. That'd be a big win for the Patriots, I think, for Zappi too. Miguel, can the Bills trade for Saquon Barkley? If the Giants continue to – if the Giants bottom out, which they haven't yet, if they bottom out come the, no, the November 1st or 2nd, whatever it is, trade deadline, then maybe – but, you know, Barkley is that offense right now. He is carrying them, and, and Daniel Jones scrambles too. Barkley is the offense. They're kind of trying to win football games right now. So I don't – the Bills are a logical fit, but I don't know if that means they're going to end up trading for Saquon. Because I don't know the Giants are going to move Saquon Barkley at this point. They've had success there from that standpoint with him on the ground. He looks, he looks back 
really, really, truly does look back. Assets high. If they're not going to pay him and they bought him out, then it starts to make some sense there. So question for you guys now. Name a player, whether it's Saquon Barkley or someone else, who you want to see traded. Let me know in the comments section. SM. Allen Robinson was a bad signing by the Rams. So far, yeah. Uh, he's not getting targets. He's not getting open. Matthew Stafford will only throw to Cooper Cup and Tyler Higby. Uh, they paid him a good amount of money to have no impact right now. So it could change. Yes. So far, bad signing. The Elites, Colts trade three first-round picks and Matty Ice for Baker and Christian McCaffrey and make a playoff push. Why would they do that? <laughs> uh, this feels like a Panthers fan trolling. Um, three first-round picks and the better quarterback for Baker, Mayfield, and Christian McCaffrey. Look, Matt Ryan's not been great. Got bad pocket presence right now. But that's a horrible deal for the Colts, so I kind of suspect the Elites just having some fun. Cujo. Are the Chargers still contenders even with all the injuries? Yeah, uh, I think they are. Now, it's going to be tough. You need to get Ke Keenan Allen healthy. Uh, very impressed by uh, Jamari Salyer, the rookie who got the start of left tackle there. It's going to be tough, but they have Justin Herbert as long as he's healthy. Honestly, when you have that top 10, top 5, top 7, whatever quarterback, you should be a playoff contender every year. From B... Uh, who do you blame for the Raiders' pathetic start? Predict the Raiders' record. Um, look, I'm going to blame the the organization, and that's really Dave Ziegler, the GM, and Josh McDaniels, the head coach, because you were a playoff team last year, which was maybe a bit of a, like a fluky playoff team. You rallied really well. You overhauled the defense. Hasn't been that great. And then you blow a game against the Cardinals. You You have adopted the Patriot way. And the Patriot way has never worked outside of New England. It is over every time someone gets hired and goes full Patriot way. I thought the Raiders played really well down the stretch last year. They were this far away, literally, from beating the eventual AFC representatives in the Super Bowl. So you were close. You add Devontae Adams. You kind of shred your own offensive line. I, 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 I'm, I'm just, I don't trust the moves this team has made overall. So that's why I blame the McDaniels Ziegler, uh, or Ziegler duo. I I'll go. They rally and finish with seven wins this year. Hopefully that ends up being the case, but we'll see.